Hello all you wonderful citizens of Washington City, Mayor Nielsen here. Wanted to wish you a happy and prosperous new year and hope that 2016 is better than 2015. I just wanted to give you a few highlights of what happened here in Washington last year that uh, you may not be aware of. You know, Washington is, uh, in my mind and I know in your mind, one of the most beautiful parts of our country and our state to live in. We have over, we've had over a thousand people a year move into Washington City. We know why they're attracted to our, to our, to our town and, and the beauty and, and the main reason is because of you, our, our wonderful citizens. Well, you all know this, but we have uh, seven beautiful parks. We just opened up a, a wonderful soccer complex. I hope you're all taking advantage of those parks. We've won numerous awards. We've got a fabulous community center that we want you all to take advantage of and use. I know a lot of our programs, uh, our sports programs, are, are keeping that place busy. We appreciate that. And we're, we're glad to have it here and we're glad to have it in Washington City. Um, we're getting ready to open up a new police building just north of me here. We're excited to have that in our city. It allows our police department uh, the opportunity to have more modern facilities available to them in, in processing all the things that they do. I also wanted to take an opportunity to thank our employees of Washington City. Uh, the department heads, all their staff, and all those that get out there and, and actually do the work for us that keep our streets clean, that keep the roads well maintained. Uh, I received numerous calls this past holiday season about how wonderful Telegraph looked at night. That's a, that is a tribute to the hardworking people that, that keep our city moving and rolling. We appreciate that. We appreciate all the safety that we enjoy and, and that we can get up at night and, and in the morning and go to work safely and know that, that we live in a community that is truly protected. And I thank you all for that. And I, I know that you know that, but I want you to know as your mayor that I'm grateful for that. And I'm grateful to all you citizens of Washington City that, you know, you get up every day, you go to work, and you provide for your families. You know, you, you go through times in your life that aren't the best that, you, that, that you're going through. You know, we all have struggles, we all have trials, we all have tribulations. And that's part of what we call life experiences. And God bless you for moving forward each and every day and handling those in the wonderful manner that you do. I'd like to share a poem, it's part of my conclusion, by Rudyard Kipling, and it's called If. So I'm going to share that with you. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too, if you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies or being hated, don't give away to hating, and yet don't look too good nor talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster, and treat those two imposters just the same. If you can if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves who make a trap for fools, or watch the things you give your life to broken, and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose, and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss? If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone, and so hold on when there's nothing in you except the will, except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch, if neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and, which is more, you'll be a man, my son." Um, Roger Kipling made that poem up for his son to give him some advice and strength as he journeyed along in, in his life in this world. So I want to say to you folks, dance, smile, giggle. Marvel, trust, hope, love, wish, believe, but most of all, 
Enjoy every moment of life's journey. And appreciate when you are when you are at this moment instead of always focusing on what you have to try to achieve. Smile a lot because that's one of the wonderful things that we can be proud of. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful that you can have a glass that is half full and half empty. And that there's something in it. Happy New Year to you and I hope it's very prosperous to you.